Yo guys, Code Life here. So in today's video, we're going to be checking out a few pro player updates that have went down very recently. The updates that we've got guys are a couple of sensitivity changes as well as one keybind change. For the sensitivity changes, one of them is from Bugger. He decided to change his targeting sense last night on stream. And for the other, that is Benji Fishy. He decided to go ahead and change both of his X and Y sensitivities. And as well as those two, that's Benji Fishy and Bugger. We've also also got one keybind change and that is coming from Liquid Chap. He's gone ahead and switched out two different building keybinds. But yeah guys, there are only a few updates for us all to get through today. But quickly, before we do go ahead and start this video off, I want to say that if you guys are enjoying these update videos, as always guys, be sure to drop a like on this video. Feel free to subscribe to the channel as well as I do videos like this one all the time. And also, if you do subscribe, you'll never miss any future updates. And as well as doing those two right there, you can go ahead and support me directly by using my code, Code Life, in the Fortnite item shop. By doing that, guys, like by purchasing any single skin, maybe the Travis Scott skins that are currently in there, or buying any pickaxe or literally anything in the store, that would honestly help me out a ton and it really, really would be appreciated. And yeah, now, guys, let's go ahead and start this video off with checking out Liquid Chap's new keybinds. So, for Chap's new keybinds, guys, he's actually decided to join Bugger in taking advantage of the current break that's going on with Fortnite Competitive at the minute. If you didn't know, guys, right now there's no big tournaments going on in Fortnite and there's none planned for the time being. So because of that, pros like Bugger, for example, all of them are taking advantage of this sort of downtime that's going on to learn some new optimal keybinds without risking doing bad in any of the tournaments. As you guys will probably know if you have tried any new keybinds, you do so bad initially, but once you do get used to them and you do learn your new keybinds, you can be a much better improved player overall. The only downside really to learning new keybinds is it can take as little as one week or maybe two weeks or even more to fully learn them. On average though, I would say it takes at least like two weeks to learn keybinds fully. That's of course if they have changed very drastically. If you are changing one or two like Chap's doing, he could probably get them learned in like a week. It would be pretty ideal for him if that was the case as right now in the Fortnite Compete tab, there's literally no tournaments, not even cash cups going on for like three days. So again, guys, if you are watching this video right now and you are wanting to learn some new optimal keybinds that you think can improve you as a player overall, now is the time, guys, like right now, as soon as you can. There's no cash cups going on for three days and there's no sign of any big tournament going on for at least like two weeks and that is enough time for you to learn some new keybinds. If you don't want to take my advice, don't, guys, but what I will do right now is play a clip from bugger pretty much saying what i'm saying right now i'm just changing on now the second i have a break like imagine the first like the second an event gets announced like you can bro like you just can't do it and yeah, as you heard right there, guys, even Bugger said, now is the time if you are considering it. Going back to Chap, though, he has full on took advantage of this break opportunity, and he's gone ahead and changed out his wall keybind and his cone keybind. For his wall keybind, this was previously set to Q, but now that's bound to mouse button 4. And for his cone keybind, that was previously set to mouse button 5, but now that's bound to Q instead. For those curious of what the rest of Chap's keybinds are, and you don't know what they are, currently i'll quickly show all of you guys his current keybinds on screen right now But yeah, that's Chap's new keybinds. Best of luck to him for learning those. I think he'll learn them in no time whatsoever. And I definitely think it will improve him as a player. Let's now move on and check out Bugger's new Fortnite sensitivity. So, for Bugger's new sensitivity, last night he actually went and lowered his targeting slash ADS sensitivity. He was previously playing on 40%, but now he's lowered that to 35%. Unfortunately, Bugger didn't say exactly why he made this slight change, but if I was to make a guess, guys, I'd imagine it would have just been the obvious reason. He probably thought that this ADS sense that he was on was a little bit too fast. So, to counter that, he did the obvious thing and he just lowered it down by 5%. 
percent it's not too little of a change and it's not too big like five percent that sort of can make the difference especially with ads it's something i'd recommend all of you guys do if you are feeling that your ads sensitivity is either a little bit too fast or a little bit too slow just drop it down by five percent guys or increase it by five percent and you probably will feel a difference like that's essentially what bugger's done right here one thing to mention as well about this change that bugger made is this was on his final mouse air 58 ninja i know a few of you may be thinking that this was on his logitech g403 but it wasn't guys this was on his main mouse and yes it was just on the same dpi that is still the same that it's always been on that is 400 dpi but yeah that's bugger's new ads sense guys let's now move on to our final update of today benji fishy's new fortnite sensitivity so for Benji Fishy's new sense, he recently said that he lowered his X and Y sensitivity from previously being on 14% to now being on only 10%. That change as well is on his normal DPI. He hasn't changed that at all. It's still on 800. But yeah, that change from Benji Fishy right there, guys, it is quite a big one. If you didn't know, what he's done pretty much here is he's went from playing on a very, very high sensitivity to now playing on a medium sense. That's right, guys. Benji Fishy is now considered considered a medium sensitivity player because what I calculated from finding his EDPI from both before and after it shows here that his old sensitivity this had an EDPI of 112 and for his new sensitivity that equaled an EDPI of only 80 which as you can see from my personal sensitivity brackets right here on screen Benji's old sensitivity this falls under a fairly high sense whereas his new sensitivity that falls under a medium sense for those curious of how I worked this out, what I did here is I pretty much times his game sense by his mouse DPI, and that's how I got the results on screen right now. And yeah guys, it looks like Benji is now considered a medium sense player. Who would have ever thought that he would be that like I never did. I thought he was a high sense player for life. But no, it turns out that I was wrong as he's now a medium sense player. Who knows in the future guys, he might even lower his sense a little bit more and be considered a low sense player like Mongrel. Now in all jokes guys, I don't think he will as this sense that he's on right now, it's already improved him a ton. Like literally guys, just from watching his Twitch rival stream last night, he already looked looks a lot less shaky than he was before and the shots that he's been hitting like his pumps and stuff they already seem a lot more accurate don't get me wrong the guy was already a beast on his old high sensitivity but with this medium one it just looks like he's got way more control and it's a lot less shaky overall i don't know that's what i thought guys i'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below do you think benji fishy has benefited from this or do you think he hasn't and he should go back to playing a high sense i'd love to know do remember though guys this is still early days like literally the guys when he had one day of practice on this new sense he has still got loads more practice to do on this new sensitivity especially during these next few days and weeks while there's no major tournaments going on whatever does happen though like if he does end up going back to his all sense or even lowering it a little bit more you guys know i'll keep you all up to date so again if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future updates and yeah speaking of updates that's all the updates i've got for for today's video if you guys did enjoy it be sure to leave a like on it as that would really help me out a ton and if you guys would like to take that extra step to support me directly you can all go ahead and use code life in the fortnite item shop when you do purchase any skins right now guys there is a ton of cool ones in the shop there's actually travis scott you know the rapper that everyone knows he's actually in the game as we speak guys like in the item shop so if any of you do go ahead and pick him up be sure to use my code code life as that would help me out a ton and i really would appreciate it and yeah that's all i've got for today guys thank you all so much for watching hope you all have a great day peace